Good morning, my public. I just had my time of prayer and meditation with the Lord thine God. And uh, I was eating my coffee and sausage. And the Lord thine God allowed me to have a recollection of my past when I was a little girl. He took me to when I was a little, probably preschool. I was in my grandmama's basement with my best and closest friend, Globy. Oh, Lord, me and Globy used to have so much fun. I mean, just so much fun. On well, that particular day, Globy came down to uh, my house and played. She had on some beautiful ribbons, beautiful, long, pretty ribbons. And it was on that day that the Lord that God revealed to me the issues that Maddie J had in her second and third ventricles of her heart chamber. Maddie J was jealous because Maddie J didn't have hair ribbons. In fact, Maddie J didn't have too much hair for the ribbons to cascade from. But at that particular moment, Globy, she was she showing off the ribbons. Wasn't nothing wrong because that's what little girls do. Just look at my ribbons, Maddie J. Look, ain't that pretty? And she just kept saying and just kept repeating and saying in a repetitious condition. And she went to my grandmama's big brown mirror and looked at herself and flicked the ribbons. Flicked the ribbons. Didn't know that I was dealing with envy and jealousy, like I said, in my heart chambers, the ventricles. So finally, Maddie J took all that she could take. And while she was standing there in the mirror, I pulled out a box of my grandmama's big boy matches. Lit the match. Set the back of her on fire. She started screaming and hollering and hollering and screaming while a gentle forest fire was forming in the back of her kitchen right back there alongside her back of her neck. And then I realized the level of atrocity that I did and I was trying to put it out, flicking the back of her head. You know, well... Her grandmama had all oh, her scalp with sulfate, baby. And with sulfate don't play. It's got flammable materials on the inside of them. And so the forest fire was building into an inferno on the back of her head. She just cut out the run. I was running behind her. Oh, Lord. Jesus, help me. And I was trying to pat the back of her head. The boy, I pat the boy. The sparks flame like firecrackers pop all around and go be with fast. Maybe she could run track, so I couldn't catch her. Oh, that much. She ran all the way home. And told her grandmama. And her grandmama told my grandmama, Bertha Clara Patterson. What did she do that for? Jesus. Grandma Bertha Clara called me in the room and met Jay. What did you do? Couldn't lie to her. Not to Grandma Bertha Patterson. You don't know the level of ventricity she is. The devil himself was scared of Grandma Bertha Patterson. I started crying and I don't know you some crying. No, she already knew. Glow B grandmama told her, plus the Lord and God had and did some impartation to her about me, too, what I was dealing with. Grandma Bertha Patterson took off her wig and beat me with a wig. Don't you understand that? A wig ain't supposed to hurt, but she had something kind of 
spiritual going on with her wigs that it made you sting on your legs when she whooped you with it. I started reciting everything that I learned from a child from the Lord's prayer from the battle hymn of the Republicans. Then I caught the Holy Spirit. I started running around and telling everybody, preaching about the Lord, dying God, trying to get them saved because Grandma Burke was beat salvation to me that day. Whoo! Since then, I've been a changed woman. Can't say I stayed changed for a long time, but I tell you, Grandma Bertha Preston learned me something that day, especially about wigs and the spirituality behind them. You won't catch, you won't catch me without mine. Power in weeks. Now weave weeks. <laughs>